I serve on the board of directors of Jazz at Lincoln Center here in New York City, where the artistic director is 34-year-old Wenton Marsalis. Not long ago, critics were saying jazz was dead, that no one wanted to hear it anymore. But then Marsalis and his trumpet came along and breathed new life back into the music. How do you deal with critics who say that your playing is technically superior to those around you, but lacks uh, emotion and feeling? This is how I respond to them. has that cocky edge that can rub critics the wrong way. But he's no longer the arrogant prodigy from New Orleans who burst onto the national scene at the age of 20. Marsalis is leader of the band now. The kid has grown up. You know, when you're young, the older musicians always tell you, you're gonna learn. And they laugh, like you say something. They say, oh. And they all say, well, that's all right. It's good to be young, too, and dumb. How, how have you changed over the last 15 years of playing out here every day? Oh man, a lot. I mean, I'm calmer. When I was young, I was always excited, you know. <laughs> Gotta do it today. And I was always paranoid about not ever being able to play good enough. You know, never being able to play good enough. He was six years old when he got his first trumpet from the band leader Al Hurt, a friend of his father Ellis, who played jazz piano and taught his son's music. Winton and his older brother Branford took the lessons to heart. I guess a lot of his attitude towards his chosen music came from observing what I did. I can still remember, you know, stuff that he would practice. Do 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 This little exercise he would do, and that sound is always in my music. It was his father who taught him about Coltrane and other jazz masters like Monk and Dizzy Gillespie. But it was his mother Dolores who first made him toe the line with practice every day. But after a while, she didn't have to force it. He says, well, you know, I'm going to get off the softball team this year. And I says, why, sweetheart? I'm going to do it because I'm taking this music to a different level, Mom. I'm taking it to a high level. And I just can't, I can't fool around with baseball anymore. How old was he then? 10, 11. What about his sense of self and appearance? Appearance was very important to him. He was always like that. I went to all his concerts. And he would always ask me, how did you enjoy the music? Good. How was my stage appearance? So he was very aware of his stage appearance from early on. And he still is. The jacket, the, 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 the pants, I'm, I don't want any, no wrinkles on it. Warming up at an ironing board is a ritual before every concert. It's like a, like a prom or something. Every night it's a ceremony. And this is a part of that ceremony. Who people have worked their jobs all week or something, you know, they're tired. And they, they've taken their time to come out and check out our concert. And that's a serious thing to me. And I, I, want, I want to have something on that's going to make them feel good, too. So if I'm not playing nothing, they say, well, at least he was clean. <laughs> he couldn't play, but he was clean. <laughs> when I was in high school, me and my brother played in a funk band. Man, we play a dance, it'd be 2,000 people there, 3,000. i go to my father's jobs, it'd be like 25 people. And I'm, I'm, so we would always be saying, man, daddy can play and nobody comes to hear him play. And we sad and everybody comes and checks us out. Marcellus has always checked out the older jazz musicians, asking questions and absorbing what they have to teach. He dropped out of New York's prestigious Juilliard School to study jazz on the road with Art Blakey's band. Even today, he still takes time to learn from those who've gone before him. He seems to be constantly in a learning mold, which is not always the case with musicians. And Wenton has always felt an obligation to his father. I wanted him to be proud. I wanted to learn how to play, really. And not just for him to be proud, but for all the musicians, because I could feel from the older musicians a sense of deep disappointment at what had happened. When you say what had happened, you mean the 
decline of jazz and the popularity of jazz? Yeah, just, just a whole way of life, you know. I always had that feeling. Here's the musicians have all of this to give, and uh, nobody wants it. So I, I wanted to, when I was younger, I wanted to make the musicians proud. Do you think you've made them proud? Yeah, I think it.